How to perform a foil test. Today I'm going to show you a very simple technique to see if your ultrasonic tank is working correctly and providing good cavitation. When we're going to perform a foil test, you need a normal everyday kitchen foil, nothing too thick. We want to be able to demonstrate easily how much cavitation is happening in, within the tank. So first of all, you're going to want to cut some pieces of foil into small equal sized pieces, about like this. And then we're going to be able to wrap them round on a stick just so that we can lower them into the tanks. And then that is going to be our simple foil test. Okay, so if you want to come over to the tank, we'll show you how we perform the foil test. So there are three main elements to performing a foil test. And that is that the tank is fully degassed before you perform the test removing all the little oxygen bubbles that can impact the cavitation. Then you need a cleaning solution. A wetting agent helps with cavitation as it helps the small bubbles implode closer to the surface in a more even fashion. Now, because it's foil, aluminium, you don't want to be using a caustic based cleaner because it will just eat it up and you'll have no foil for the test. The last factor is the temperature. You want to be using it at your normal operating temperature. Otherwise, it'll be a false test and you won't know if it's gonna perform that well at the time that you're using it. So first of all, we'll add the solution. Then we have our little foil flag. After around 30 seconds in the tank, we'll take out the foil and then we should be able to see some small pitted surface. This is an indication of the cavitation that's happening all over the surface of the foil. Now this tank's around eight years old and we're still getting some really, really good cavitation marks on the foil here. So all in all, that's a successful test and it indicates that we've got good ultrasonic activity. So what we're looking for here is good, even coverage. You'll see the little markings across. Now there are some patches in here where there are some blank spots and some over here, but what we don't want is a big bullet hole, which is usually found if you have a hot spot of ultrasonics, if it gets a little bit too much energy in there, it will burst through and that can negatively impact the parts that you're cleaning. With a small tank, you might only need to do one or two tests, but with a large tank like this, around three meters long, and about a meter deep, you'll need to do multiple tests throughout the tank at different depths, different areas, get a good clear image of how well your ultrasonic tank is operating. The foil test is the most simple and practical way to test for your ultrasonic activity. Good luck with your foil test. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Ben Peacock from Sonic Solutions.